Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. So today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up a Google Voice account. So a Google Voice account is a number, or phone number, telephone number, that is assigned to you uh, from Google. Uh, so you can have this number forward to your regular cell phone number, uh, and then you can use the features that Google Voice provides, like transcribe text messages, transcribe voice messages, and just being able to access your phone message system in like an email style. So let's jump into it and let me show you how to sign up and get it set up. So first things first, you need to go ahead and log into your Gmail account that you want associated with your Google Voice account. So as you can see here, I created a brand new Gmail account just for the purposes of this video here. So I don't really have any emails and I deleted them anyways. But uh, so make sure you have your Gmail account, you've logged in and then go to this website here. It's www.google.com slash voice. It'll take you to this option here. Now, if you are logged into your Gmail account, you will see something that says this. It says getting started. Uh, please note that Google Voice is only available in the US. So you do need to take that into account. Also, you will be required to verify an existing US phone number number to get a Google Voice number. So you got to do those two things. You got to know those things before going into it and then go ahead and hit the checkbox there to I accept the terms and services and then just hit proceed. So it'll say creating your account and then you can choose this option here. You can either say I want to set up a new number or I want to use my mobile number. Now, I don't recommend using your mobile number because there are benefits of having a separate number. Like you can give these this number to certain people as opposed to that you may not give your private number to. So think about that before choosing this option here. So go ahead and select I want a new number or whatever you wanna do. All right, and once we've proceeded on, you'll see this next option here that says add a forwarding phone. This is where you're going to type in the phone that you want to ring when someone calls this Google Voice number. So if you want your work phone to ring, if you want your cell phone or home phone to ring, you will need to insert that number here, and then whenever someone calls this Google Voice number, that phone will ring. So I'm gonna type mine in here, and obviously I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'll see you on the other side. All right, and then once you're done with that, it'll ask you to verify the phone that you've just given them to call. So just hit the call me now button and then insert the two digit code they give you to verify your phone. So I'm going to do that now and I'll see you guys in one second. All right, now that I've verified my phone number that I want it forwarded to, I now get to choose my number. So there are two different options on this. You can choose it via like an area, a zip code or a city or a word. So if you have a business and your business is whatever your business name is, you can even choose that there. So let's go ahead and type in like YouTube. How about that? We'll use YouTube as the word and then we'll go to search numbers. And obviously it says, sorry, no results. Let's try this area code here. Uh, search again. There we go. So this is just an area here, um, not where I live, but kind of close to where I live. So uh, let's choose this one here. Once we have searched and found a number that we like, we just select that number there and then go to continue. And then it says adding Google Voice number. And then now it says you have successfully set up a Google Voice number. As a reminder, your Google Voice number is the following. And we can now give the number out and do all that good stuff. So once we're done, we'll hit finish just like so. And now you have your own Google Voice number. So let me show you a few of the features and then we'll wrap this up. So the first thing first, as you see here, this is very, very similar to your Gmail um, interface. So you have your inbox here uh, where you will be able to see the text uh, that it transcribes the voicemail. Now, a lot of times this is not very accurate, so don't take it uh, for uh, exact. Uh, so it's not always accurate, but you can read it here. It sometimes does a good job and then you can also play it back. So we'll just hit the play button and it'll play back whatever that voicemail is right here on your computer through your speakers. So we have our inbox, then we have our voicemails that we can look at here if someone's left us a voicemail, and then we have text messages. If someone's text that number, it'll come in just like a uh, text email would. And then we have our Google contacts, we have our history, uh, and then obviously if we go up here and go to call, we can call directly from our uh, Google Voice account, and then we can text someone from this account. We just put their number here and then enter a message and you're sending them a text message just like you would if you're on your mobile phone. So anyway, Anyways, guys, this has been a brief rundown on how to set up uh, your Google Voice account. If you do, however, have any questions about how to go about doing that, put those in the comment box below. Uh, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends and family, and uh, don't forget to support us over on patreon.com slash techguru77. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.